Hello. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps to deploy K3S clusters on the edge with Open Nebula. In particular, okay, in this screencast, I'm going to review how to use the new K3S virtual appliance that's available on the Open Nebula public marketplace. I'm going to instantiate a K3S cluster on the edge by using Firecracker micro VMs on top of AWS bare metal resources. Okay, so here's the lowdown on what we're going to do here. First, I'm going to use Open Nebula Fire Edge to add AWS as a resource provider. Then, I'm going to provision an Open Nebula cluster on AWS with Firecracker as a hypervisor. And once the cluster is created, I'm going to import the K3S virtual appliance from the Open Nebula public marketplace within the Open Nebula cloud and then instantiate a K3S cluster on the AWS resources. All right, and then finally, once the cluster is running, I'm going to use kubectl to deploy a simple application, an NGX, NGINX web server, and then expose the application with the load balancer service type. Okay, so let me jump into the demo. All right, so I've already deployed an Open Nebula Cloud with a front end. This is the Sunstone graphical user interface. And as you can see, there are no resources here at the moment. I'm gonna start with provisioning resources. Okay, so this is the Fire Edge UI and dashboard. And first what we need to do is add a provider. So we'll start with uh, adding AWS, for example, in the London location. Okay, so here you can put the name and the description of the provider. In order to configure the provider, we need to put the access key and the secret key of an AWS account. All right, we'll put in those data points. All right, so once the provider has been defined, I can now provision an Open Nebula cluster on AWS. All right. Okay. So we will now select the AWS cluster template and then select the AWS provider that I just created. Right. And you can specify the name of the cluster we can configure the provisioning with different options. We've got the number of servers, the number of IPs, the AWS instance type. I'm going to use the i3 metal and the virtualization technology. I'm going to use Firecracker. Okay. One provision is going to create an Open Nebula cluster in two steps. First, it's going to use Terraform to create resources on AWS, and then it will use Ansible to configure the hosts. This really takes around five to 10 minutes. All right, I will come back uh, when, when it's complete. Okay, so now the cluster is now ready and it's been provisioned. At this point, we will import the K3S virtual appliance within the Open Nebula Cloud. We go to the Storage and Apps tab Right, and we search for K3S. We'll select the K3S service for Firecracker and then click the import button. Okay, then we select the default image data store and click on the download button there. So when the download is started, right, an image is gonna be imported into the default image data store and two templates are gonna be created. One template is related to the OneFlow service, and the other is related to the virtual machine template that's going to be used by the service for the nodes. All right, so before instantiating the K3S service, we also need to import the kernel that's needed to boot the Firecracker micro VM. So here we go to the Apps tab, we search for kernel, and we're going to select the 4.19 for Firecracker and import the file data store. So once the kernel has been imported, we can now proceed to update the VM template for K3S 
by selecting the OS and the CPU tab. Okay. And we'll select the kernel that I've just imported. All right, so now I can deploy the K3S cluster by instantiating a new OneFlow service using the appliance that I've just imported. All right, we do this on the Instances tab, click on Services, right, and create a new service based on the K3S appliance. All right, we've, now we'll add a service name. We have to specify the cluster name where we're going to deploy the cluster. So in our case, the cluster name is AWS cluster. Okay. You can also change some other options like the version of K3S and enable or disable some of the features of K3S. All right, so now we're going to proceed to create this service. Here you can see a new service is created. It's now in the deploying state. Okay. And in the VM instances tab, we can see a Firecracker micro VM related to the server has been deployed. So during the micro VM boot process, the K3S server is set up. And once, once that server is running, OneFlow is going to deploy an agent component that will join the cluster. So that boot, bootstrap process is going to require just a few minutes. So We'll wait, I'll jump, I'll jump back in in a minute or two. Okay, so now the cluster is ready and we should be able to connect to it. So we will go get the public IP address that's been assigned to the K3S server so I can then connect to it with kubectl. All right, so the first step here, we've got to Copy the K3S configuration file. I've done that, copied it to my laptop, and I will change the local host in the configuration file with the public IP of the K3S server. All right. Now we're going to check if the nodes are ready. Good. Okay. Next, we're going to deploy an Nginx application. All right, and now what we're going to need to do is check, check to see if the Nginx pod is created. This usually takes some time since it has to pull the image. We'll wait a few seconds until the image is ready. Good. You can see the pod is running. So now what we need to do is expose the application using the load balancer service type. Now this is, allows it to reach the application outside of the K3S cluster. Right, so we'll check the service, and here we can see that a load balancer service type has been created, and I can use one of the two IPs to connect to the Nginx uh, application. We put the IP and the 8080 port in the browser, and here we go. So there you have it. Now you can see that Deploying a K3S cluster with Open Nebula on the edge is just as simple as that.